again. <clears throat> this is Ed from Exotic Blanks, welcoming you to part two of the fountain pen, Atrax or Triton. Uh, we're going to start where we left off yesterday, which was with the um, facing of the blanks. And I'm only going to do one of the two blanks on video. Uh, this is the side that becomes the body of the blank, of uh, the body of the pen. Um, this will have the nib on the right side, the headstock side, and the finial will be on the tailstock side or your left as you're looking at it. Uh, we've turned it down to close to size and now what we're doing is turning it down to actually match the bushings and become the real size of the pen. Um, doesn't take too much time or effort and as you can see it's just a matter of um, slow turning and well high speed. I have the speed at about 3000 RPM, 3500, somewhere in that neighborhood. And uh, and I'm using a smaller skew here that is uh, sharp and is able to get real close to the bushings without taking off any metal. Um, essentially that's what I like to do when I get to this stage is go to a smaller tool and just try to get to the bushings without ruining the bushings. So. That's all that's happening here, and once we're finished doing that, the next stage will be um, to do the sanding. So that's the polishing of it. You see that we've used Novus 3, which is the heavy scratch remover, and then Novus 2, which is the light scratch remover. Now I'm trying to reposition the uh, lamp so you can see the uh, reflection off of this, what will be the pen body. Uh, it really turned out nice as it usually will with that, that uh, Novus polish is a good product and, and that's a good way to do it on the lathe. I still prefer buffing, but if you don't have a buffing system, the Novus is a great answer for the lathe. Now let's move into assembly. Uh, the picture that you see in the background is a freezer container, a square freezer container. 
Uh, I buy these at the dollar store, and they're four for a dollar. That's a great way to make sure that when you empty your bag of components, you empty it into that freezer container, and then springs and other things like trim rings and so forth will not get lost. Here's the first piece that we're going to put in. That's the coupler. The nib coupler is the larger of the two. The trim ring is just a little bit larger than the trim ring on the um, on the finial end. On the Atrax, this is the one that has two pieces, and the finial end has one piece. On the Triton, they both have two pieces, so you have to be careful which trim ring you're using. When you install the trim ring, make sure that you install it with the shoulder up toward the threads. Uh, you will, of course, press in the uh, side that has no threads into the uh, brass tube. So, logically enough, what you're doing is putting the flat side toward your blank or your pen. Now we install the center band, and to saw the center bands are for the Atrax one piece and for the Triton three pieces. You want to screw the center band assembly onto the nib of the pen without assembling anything. In other words, you have the black plastic and the center band, and you screw that onto the uh, nib half of your pen, the body half. What you're going to do next is align the pattern of your blank so that it lines up at the center band. That means that you're going to take the two pieces, align the pattern, and then make sure that they're going to be right when you press them down on the center band. The center, center piece is screwed onto the pen in the position that it would be if it were closed. That is that the top is tightly closed. Now you want the pattern to match. Then you're going to push the thing together. Now when you push it together and you're pushing it down with your ram on your uh, arbor press, what's going to happen is that black plastic is going to peel off slightly as you push the brass tube over it. So you push it down until you've reached the metal section of your center band so that nothing shifts. And then you look at it and try to figure out how much of the black plastic has scraped off and take that out, the black plastic scrapings, take that out before you push everything home or you're going to have that junk between your blank and the center band. So clean that off, then push it down some more, then clean it off again, and then when you finally are very confident that you have nothing left in there, then you can push it home and hopefully you won't have anything sticking out when you're done that's either black or, or clear plastic. Uh, it looks like crud over the top of your uh, center band. The rest of the assembly is really straightforward. Uh, you're taking the clip and putting it into the larger side, the larger the top of the cap. Um, that is just a matter of putting the clip in and putting the uh, cap that holds the clip in place. And you may want to use some um, Loctite inside there. Uh, it isn't always necessary, but in all of these junctions, if you want to use Loctite, there's no reason not to. So that's the cap, and then the finial side of the Atrax is the one that has the um, trim ring molded into the actual part, so it's one part that goes into the finial of the Atrax, the back of the body. And with the Triton, it's two parts. So uh, again, you're looking at the smaller of the of the two uh, trim rings and then the uh, coupler that goes in with it. And remember, your trim ring stays with the shoulder up toward the threads, and then everything will come together beautifully. Now, on the um, on the Atrax, uh, they don't come with a um, uh, posting top. Uh, you can purchase that separately from us if you want to from Exotic Blanks. But uh, any way you do it, it's the smaller trim ring and whatever you're going to put on the top. And that's all there is to it, and it makes a real nice pen. Thank you for watching. Uh, this will be probably repeated. I probably will make another one that has more detail. Um, but for the moment, this should give you all that you need to know in order to be able to make a fountain pen either out of the Atrax or out of the Triton. Uh, and good luck to you. And this is Ed. Bye now.